Looks like Flashpoint are getting wiped here, and they are, and Stush Gaming look to be in the driver's seat, potentially taking game number two here, and they are. The respawns are not in time unless the Vivian can get a touch, but she cannot. Part of how Envy got their start, really, just kind of making it happen. Making a couple of roster changes along the way, but for the most part, Navi were a third place team for a long, long time. And I will say, if I remember correctly, this is actually a harder time hitting you. And the fight taking too long. The rain is down by nice. himself, but big shots here from Nico. Double kill for Nico. Can they turn it around? No, Nothing. Didn't find anyone. You have the advantage here if you're stuck. If you push down the gas pedal, you have the ultimates ready. That could make a difference here. Uh -oh. With your time and space as well. A couple kill, uh, a couple kills picked up for Stush here. This could be it going through and making four to two. And frankly, that's a beneficial setback. It gets him back up onto the high ground. Chico can find be it. his third. Two more for Barrett. One for Tyra as well. And they do it all without any healing. Because look who's back there on the point, just capturing away dutifully. Able to get a ton of kills, but you always had. Well, where's that Tyra mark? I yeah, can exactly. do a little bit more damage at 96k, almost 97k made a huge difference when it came down to it. Victor, I think, was able to eat out a little more. Actually, no, I think he was sitting at 70, but it was just not as comfortable overall on the side of Aaron Manor. Whereas this collapse, I mean, this fight, everything from Stush looked really good that game. Yeah, they were really comfortable on their ults, I think, and on their pushes. They, they knew what they wanted to do. They executed really fast every mid. I mean, you, so that ancient rage was in their face in that last mid almost immediately. You know, they were really, they were really pushing him down. And their comp, the Leon is super good as a pitcher. Playing just a little bit safe. Uh, Vclax looking like he's set to go down here. AOL is going to be cleaning that one up. There's three members of Aaron Miner here. This could start to go in the wrong direction. Stitch Gaming, they're on the point as well. And Andrew doing a good job flitting around. Overpower connects on the Atlas, though. He's going to get the kill as well. Oh, or does no. it? Bounces off the rock. Big second chance here for Alelol now. Hits the setback onto Khan and turns his sights well played oh. there. Stitch Gaming grab another payload as a result. I have to uh, commend Stush Gaming there. There were so many kills coming up in Air Miner's favor, and they were yeah. able to respawn, stall out the push. It's all about rain. And really give themselves a chance here to defend. Rain has been so phenomenal. I think stalling these out, being objective minded, being in, in, and just in control of, of what he can do with this barrack. Pushing down a support and, and getting out cleanly. I mean, this yeah. guy has been the MVP of Stone Keep without a doubt. Almost pretty much win or lose. I think he was he's been the most valuable player playing this game. I'd agree. And four on the other side here on the Atlas. That just did wonders. There was actually one time he did get caught out, couldn't rewind because of a dread servant. But really, other than that, I don't think I saw him have a bad moment. Oh, yeah, no, I, I, I agree. I mean, Atlas is just really strong on maps where you're going to be poking. I mean, oh, my God, that's that's a monstrous setback. That's crazy. He did. He played fantastic this game, I thought, with the poke. Like, the only time he died, I, I meant he, he got Hexafired and Dread Serpent. Like, they had to commit two ults just to get him out of the fight, and his pressure combined with the, the cap pressure for the rest of the team was just too much to overcome. And I believe it was actually earlier in the set he was playing, and, like, the only comment, like, you just kind of sat back, and you're like, you can tell this guy's been playing out. Like, yeah. he's been sitting down, he's been putting in the time. Because there's a lot of nuance to the champion that I think will escalate him to kind of where he is in, like, a top pick position for some teams. Overtime. Come. Victory! That's what I'm talking about. Good job, guys. Jan on the high ground. Oh, Lien is on the left. Cover me, cover me, cover point. Cover point, cover point. Lien one, Lien one, guys. Cover on point. Just kill the cover on point, guys. No, 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 no and this one inching closer and closer to the end. No contest will come through. Enlightenment, but not on the objective. Stush Gaming. 32%, sorry, faster. While it is active, so he's going to be able to move faster and kind of get into engagements there. With Gus, he's going to be able to take less damage if he calls a little low, which gives him more time to react. Teleport back, heal up, 
and just stay alive. Best players are uncontested. The slash lines would agree with that. I mean, double digit deaths for both frontliners and low single digit kills for Aaron Bonner. I've mentioned uh, Nika Noob. I thought he was one of the big reasons that Stush was able to win, and three plays show you a little bit why. This has been looking good for him. I mean, this game, again, maybe a little easy because uh, that was the worst case scenario for him. Was someone finally decided to put some pressure on yes. and he killed them during the pressure instead. Didn't quite burn that ancient rage, but burned it down fast enough that I don't think there was a time for him to get through. Quick Quicks was 26 and 10. They caught him out and they also caught out King Nick several times because of these yeah. items. Notice Chico using the ability to take that reversal and claim Ooh, that nice. barrage and hit the double kill as well. The technique from the Andro, the triple kill. Whoa, Stush Gaming making a statement here on Serpent Beach. That way, V Clax is going to be down to the con to try to get in there and get a touch, but they're both going to fall. Unlimited fails. King Nick as well. There's the accursed arm just for a little icing on the cake. The first Stush one of the Gaming. Game. Actually, that's really what you have to consider. Woo! Trying to get aggressive and find some kills is Chico. He's going low. Woo! Now he's going to 1v1 the Woo! Grover, and down goes Tarek. Woo! Down goes Paradoxy. Two Stop for Chico it. now. AMK reversing one on the opposite side. Oh, this is crispy right here. Give him the fist. Give him the fist. Oh, Rampage. Turn it around. Chico trying to make some plays today.